You went to movies today, speaking of movies. I saw a couple of beauties, didn't you? Well, I saw half of the Three Stooges. I, 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 I had yeah. some, I went to be my accountant today, and we discussed some losses. And I, uh, I was a little aggravated. I was in my hometown of Union, New Jersey, and I went to the Lowe's Theater on Mountainside of Route 22, and I saw a matinee, well, a 530, f- excuse me, a 515 showing of the Three Stooges. After all of the previews, what time do you think the Three Stooges started? I sat down at 5.14 for a 5.15. What time do you think the Three Stooges started? Uh, 20 of okay. 6. Okay. 20 of 6. I looked at my watch. 5.48. That's sickening. 5.48. I sat through everything. Name a movie. What movie's coming out? I know about I, I don't know. I don't, everything's I, coming out. Gonna Nick, again. everything's coming out. It's going to be amazing. Gilligan 2, all the good ones, huh? Yeah. And then uh, Despicable Me. Did you like that? Yeah. It's coming out. That was a 20-minute trailer. It, it was so disgusting. I felt like they're, punching they're someone. Shameless. It really is disgusting. Shameless. It's disgusting. They have really lost their minds. So I sit down. Now, the Three Stooges starts. Now, I got to say this. The three guys, Sean Hayes and my buddy Will Sasso from Mad TV, my God, and the other kid, I don't know who plays Mo. He's got a long Greek last name. Oh, a man. Or something. Nick, they're so good. You said they, they nailed they it, right? perfect. Will, Will has always had... And affinity for impressions. He did, like, on Mad TV, he did uh, Kenny Rogers. He was perfect in everything. And he's perfect in this. They're all perfect. The problem is, you realize why the Three Stooges never did a feature-length film. They only did short. Somebody was very smart because it gets boring. After they hit each other a bunch of times, See, there's only so many times you can hit each other. I was brought up in a violent high household. I, that never gets tired of me. I, okay. I get it, but it... it <laughs> No, I wasn't. You could only hit each other in the face with a wrench. <laughs> and Larry David, in the beginning of the movie, is all over the movie. He plays someone called Sister Mary Mengele at an orphanage where the Three Stooges are. Larry David in a Stooges movie. I just love that right there. And That's he's funny. Cast. He's funny as hell. And he Kate, Upton, Mo. Kate Upton is in it. And she's in what they call a nun kini. <laughs> okay, and she's stunningly beautiful. Count me in. And all the guys are great, but after they hit each other a bunch of times, it gets kind of boring. So three quarters through the film, I didn't care about the plot, you know. You didn't, I, but but I laughed like crazy. I got I got to say, the guys did a good job. You don't care that they're, they're three painters and uh, I didn't care. They lost they're the- better in shorts. <laughs> so I go over to Titanic. I, as I'm walking out the theater, I see Titanic 3D. So I go over to the kid who I bought the ticket from, and I scam 3D glasses from him. Because I tried without 3D glasses, and it's very disconcerting. There's people that are blurry. You don't know why they're blurry. I said, i got to get the glasses. So I go back, and I put the glasses on, and I'm like, this is ridiculous. This doesn't make any sense. This is so overrated. I realized I put my sunglasses on that I had had in the car. No, you get kidding. I swear to God, Nick, I swear to you I put my sunglasses on. <laughs> that were in my pocket. <laughs> I'm like, it's darker? It doesn't make any sense. I want my money back. When I realized that, I put the actual glasses on. Nick, you've got to go. I saw from when the ship starts to sink. That's, it's amazing. The, I mean, I... It's amazing. The original, I, I love the original. To be honest with you, the ship part sink and all the other romantic caca that we have... Terrible. ...have forced on us because Hollywood, you know... Terrible. But uh, I, I, it must look unbelievable. I have never seen the whole thing. And I was so sad when I found out Billy Zane's character shoots himself. Because seemed like a good I, guy to me. He was a great guy. Seemed like a good guy. This is where Hollywood tries to pull the wool over your eyes. He was a great guy. He bought Picasso's <laughs> for Kate Winslet. He bought her a big diamond. He bought did you guys know that in the movie he buys her this blue diamond that's worth like fifty million dollars? And she takes that. I thought it was a tennis bracelet. She takes that and bangs some gutter snipe steerage kid played by this DiCaprio creep. And and and, and good and, looking kid. And huh? he's we're supposed to feel bad. For them and like Billy Zane's the criminal? How dare they? I'm so in Billy Zane's corner. I know. I, I, I really am. Marty, like, you're right. It's upside down. When DiCaprio dies, Hollywood's upside down. I got up and cheered. I stood up and clapped when DiCaprio drowns. Well, how about because her? Because he's just a cheating slob, and she's a whore. She plays a whore. Well, Caitlin. she she lets him go. She lets him float to the bottom. Yeah. How about getting it's off the little door? Too, yeah, get off the door. Let him grab a little space. You selfish. Yeah. Fat, buxom, son of a gun. Exactly. How about getting off the door, whatever they're floating on, and saying, hey, Jack. I love you so much, get up here. I'll do my impression. Jack. And he's like, Rose, 
Rose, you're going to die with a bunch of grandkids around you. And Rose, Rose, and she's like, okay, I'm on the door. I'm fine. Get out of here, you gutter snipe. 